It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso on S3, and now it's time to take a look at the rugby. There was an intense rugby championship clash. The Springboks uh, narrowly defeated Argentina 22-21 on Saturday evening, giving us palpitations. With nine points, they secured second place in the rugby championship, and meanwhile, the All Blacks dominated the Wallabies, sealing the championship with a resounding 38-7 victory at the Melbourne, uh, well, of course, this... Uh, hitting it beautifully. So here's the chat more about uh, this particular game is somebody from the Daily Maverick, an individual who is fantastic. You can see by the look on his face, he's ready to go. It's Keenan Hemmonsby. Welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. So good to see you, man. Thank you so much, Cole. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's talk about this particular match because, as I said, it gave us palpitations. Yeah. All right, so 22-21. Very, very narrow, but let's talk about some of the permutations of the game, or, or should I say, some of the events. Now, we lost Grant Williams very early in that game. Uh, do you think that actually altered the way we went into it? Was it just something that we had to plan for? I mean, these things do happen in rugby, but did it disrupt the game for us at all? Yeah, um, Carl, I definitely think um, we had a certain game plan going into yeah. the game with Grant. Um, he's very fast, he's an elusive player, so... We obviously, Argentina's a big pack, they've got big forwards. We wanted to, I'm assuming, we wanted to exploit the spaces around the fringes with yeah. Grant Williams' um, extra pace. Unfortunately, we lost him in the first minute of the game. We couldn't see that. It was his first um, test start also, unfortunately. Yeah. So, oh, man. Yeah, but um, Faf de Klerk came on. He's an experienced guy. He did, he did his job. He's won a World Cup. So yeah. it was work as usual for Faf, but we didn't get to see what Grant could do on the big stage. I was disappointed though. I was excited yeah. about Grant, but of course, um, you know, you know, we wish him a, a speedy recovery. But of course, let's go over to uh, Captain, our mm. Captain Thor Dwayne mm. Vermeer, and saying that the, you know, we could have been a lot more disciplined in areas, and it's a, a, a matter of ill discipline. That was the reason as to why I suppose uh, that particular score was narrow. Mm. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Was it a lack of discipline that kind of uh, nipped us here and there in, in some crucial areas against Argentina? Yeah, um, I don't think we were at our fluent best. Um, we definitely, I think we were a bit, um, we tried a new game uh, game plan. We were um, a bit more expansive. Yes. We, we didn't stick to our tradi traditional strengths, which is um, the set piece, the scrums, the line outs, the rolling yeah. balls. So uh, it's nice to see the team trying something different um, in the build up to the World Cup, um, experimenting with our game plan, seeing what we can do against different opposition. But um, it did cost us in the end. Yes. But um, as long as things come together, when it matters most, because, yeah. So when we look at these results, is it okay for us to look at them in the context of the World Cup and say, if Argentina are this close to us, 22-21, that's hardly a, a win for the box, uh, is this a showing of, you know, what we can do in the World Cup? I mean, are we ready looking at a result like this? Or do we not take this on board and say, let's focus on those warm-ups against the next opposition, which happens to be Argentina again and the All Blacks, and, and on it goes. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? 22-21, can a team like that retain a World Cup? I think South Africa can retain a World Cup. I don't think too much can be taken from this result only because of the game plan that we used. I think we will, okay. when it matters most in the World Cup, I think yeah. we'll go back to our traditional strengths and, and just stick to what we know best in a clash like this. So, um, yeah, we've got um, a couple of warm-up games. We've got Argentina next week in Buenos Aires. Yes. Um, I think we'll we'll experiment a bit more because um, Jacques Ninaba named his squad. It's quite a, um, there's a few fringe players in the mix. Okay. The experienced players have been left behind. Obviously, they've played three matches now in the rugby championship, yeah. so they will be rested. So, um, but going into Wales and New Zealand, I think we'll go in. We'll look at a more settled side. The last two games before the actual tournament, the Rugby World Cup. So, um, yeah. So time for experimentation will be over after next week. Okay, so okay, I was going to ask you about those combinations going mm. forward. And, you know, when you go into a World Cup, do you, do you really want to bring in those players that got flair and, and those players that are experimental players, mm. you know, going in, and you mix them in with the experience? I'm actually very, very intrigued to see what the mix is going to be like, that, that shark number goes into the World Cup with, because we've got some really great talents. And the only way you get talents to be talents of the future is if you put them on a big stage. So do you see Jacques going for some of those young guns mm. going into the World Cup's final squad announcement? Mm. I think um, Jacques will mix it up. Um, it's obviously he, him and um, Jacques will be stepping down after the World Cup, yeah. so he doesn't have much, he doesn't need to plan for the future as much, yes. um, looking forward after the World Cup. But I do think um, he will mix it up slightly. We'll see a guy like Manila Bok. Um, oh, yes. He'll be in there. But 
But in saying that, I think Andre Polo, despite being injured at the moment, will still go into the World Cup as the first choice fly off. He okay. will he will be our first option. But um, the younger guys will will play. We need a, a big squad. We need players that can play in different styles because yeah. the World Cup's a long tournament. Injuries can happen. We need players that can step up when it when it matters most. So I think Shark will mix it up definitely. Well, I'm looking forward to some experimenting coming up uh, in the next couple of matches. Of course, Argentina next week, and then Wales and All Blacks, and then it's World Cup retention. Hopefully, Keenan, thank you so much for all of the commentary that you've uh, given us in the Feel Good Breakfast Show. We appreciate you at the Daily Maverick, and of course, let's get behind the boys. You know, we've got so many people to get behind. In fact, teams Banyana Banyana, Spa Proteas, the Springboks, National Pride at its peak. Let's keep it going.